Okay, so this is the Supreme Pro build of RetroPie, and it is excellent. I'd been asked uh, to try out the Dolphin emulator, which is basically Wii games and GameCube games, uh, and so I figured I'd try that out. It's actually uh, through the instructions are on the screen, but I had a few problems trying to set it up. Um, but I'll show how to set it up now, and then afterwards I'll show you some of the games running on it, and some of the games actually run really well. So first of all. What you're going to need to do is overclock because if you're going to do the dolphin emulator without an overclock it's going to run incredibly slow so if you go into retropy tools and you can see here overclock optimized so then it'll give you this screen so we click on ok uh, and then I'll go to 2 gigahertz because I regularly run it at 2 gigahertz obviously you need some sort of cooling if you're going to run it at that and now it's going to reboot Okay, so now we need to go into the Pixel desktop, you can see here, click on that and click again. Okay, so now we're in Pixel, there's a readme file here, uh, which basically shows you how to sort out Dolphin. So let's get that on the screen. So make sure 64-bit support is on by running config script on desktop. Execute in terminal. So we click on OK, enable 64-bit support, click on OK. Any key to reboot. Okay, so after the reboot, we need to go back into config script, execute in terminal. And I was reading on the forums that you need to do this next step. Uh, so enables the ignoring of EDID display data click OK. And now it does another reboot. So I'm going to need some ROM, so I'm going to pop my USB stick in and click OK to open in File Manager. So here is my normal RetroPie stick, but this isn't using RetroPie now, this is going to be using the standalone Dolphin emulator. So we go to ROMs and we're going to look for, let's get this a bit smaller, So I need GameCube and I need Wii. So let's drag them over because this will take some time. So I'll do that while I'm doing the other things in the background. So now I need to go, well, let's go back to this readme and see. So I've got to open a terminal and we're going to copy and paste some of this text over. So we need to copy the first bit here before it says then. Copy and paste it into terminal. And hit return. It's going to ask you for a password. The password is supreme. Okay, that bit's done. Uh, and then we go past the then and sudo up to this shm bit here. And then we need to select either Dolphin, EMU or Ishiruka. Now, I've only tried the Dolphin one so far, but I'll probably try the other one. Uh, both are installed. So hit paste and hit return. And here it is. So while it's still copying my folders over, let's go into controllers. I'm using an Xbox 360 wired controller. So, and you've got GameCube at the top and Wii at the bottom, look. So standard controller, hit configure, and you'll see that it comes up here with various different options. And I've got wired Xbox 360 controller, that's the one I'm using. And if I move around, you can see various different things go. So A is O, B is 1, X and Y. And obviously you can play around with this and you can change things about it, but I'm going to leave it as default. So hit save and close that down. And now let's do, might as well do the Wii at the same time while we're still copying these files over. Emulated Wii Remote, configure, 
So I need to, same, same again, I go to the top and I select Xbox 360. And now I can pick which buttons I want. So A can be button zero, B, I'm just using the A and the B on the controller. One, let's do X, uh, D-pad, up, down, left. And I think that's probably enough for now. Uh, so let's save that. Now all of my folders here, so GameCube and we are on the desktop. So let's hit open, desktop, open on that. And then first of all, let's do Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer because I thought this actually ran all right. Here we are, you can see the video plays a bit slow, but still looks reasonable. I'll start as A in the case of this. So we can just say OK for any of these uh, error messages that come up, they don't seem to stop anything. Yeah, back in 93 I was in Japan. And I really wasn't expecting the GameCube to be anywhere near playable. Um, but uh, it's surprisingly, it, it works really well. Not for my favourite game, Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX, that does run slow. Um, but, uh, but this actually runs pretty decent. I'm getting more errors than I was getting before. Surfing isn't as easy as it looks. First, just stand up. You'll Here we go. Now I think it's X to stand up. Yeah, there you go. go. X stands up. Oh, okay. Landed during trick. I used to, I can't remember what game I I played a version of this game, and I think it might have been on the Game Boy Advance, but it was really good. Oh, I looked a little bit too ambitious there. But it's quite a nice, relaxing action sports game. Let's get back. And, uh, too much, too risky. No, not bad. Oh, a little bit lag there. But actually, I would imagine this this probably doesn't play much faster than this because this feels really quite responsive. Well, <laughs> as I say, it lag. But yeah, it's so much more impressive than I really I really didn't think it was going to run anything like this. Let's go back to that again. Oh. Yeah. oh. So anyway, that's uh, Kelly Slater's, and, and I, I really, that's impressed me. So let's quit out of that. Uh, do you want to stop? And actually, I'll just show you Dave Mirror. Um, I haven't tried Smuggler's Run yet. I'll do, show a bit of Dave Mirror, uh, because this is a great game. And I've been playing it on the Wii with the Nintendo emulator, and it, and it runs really well. Well, it runs perfectly on that. Uh, and I've configured a PlayStation controller and uh, I'm playing through the whole game gradually. But uh, I won't be doing it on the Pi because as you'll see in a second, it just runs that, that bit too slow to be enjoyable. But as the Pi gets more optimized, you never know. It's always early days on these things and lots of work is being done on 3D support on the Pi so we could see some really good support for games. So all of the menus run nice and fast. Image quality looks reasonable. I'm getting less errors on this game. A bit laggy there. You see, it is it is just too slow, really. Which is a shame because it's a great game. But anyway, let's quit out of that because that's that's all you need to see. That you can see that that's not particularly playable. Uh, and let's go for a Wii game. So let's go desktop Wii. And oh, Dave Mirrorlet. This is a different. Uh, this isn't the same style of game. This is like a downhill version of the game. Oh, is it doing it already? And again, I haven't really played enough with the controllers. I do have a genuine. Well, I've got. I've got a Wii. I've got a Wii U. I've got Wii controllers. So I don't know if they can be paired to this. I, I just haven't had a look into it. But I figured I'd get it out there so more people can see how to do it. And, uh, and more people using it, they might advise me on what controllers I can use. And uh, I like all the advice I get in the comments.
I think I tried this on PSP and I, I didn't particularly like it and I haven't, I've never really gone back to it. Oh, and it's saying to, to hold, so if I was using a Wiimote, so it's obviously joy, joypad control. I wonder if that means that the up, down, left and right is going to be in the wrong position. Let's hope not. Unsupported extension controller. <laughs> oh dear. How do, I un how do I unplug that? Controllers. Configure nunchuck. Shall I do that? Can I select none? That might work. Right, I'll switch my audio because I think the music's going to overpower everything. So it looks by the, yeah, it looks like it's going to run a bit too slow. But let's give it a go. Left isn't working. The, the controller, is it? No, I can't get the controller to work unless it's the analog pad. Yeah, okay. I need to look a bit more at this. Anyway, uh, I hope this helped for the setup. Uh, I'm going to try and play many more GameCube and Wii games and see what works, but also leave in the comments what games you've got to work and if you've changed any settings to make things better. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.